Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mahmoud Al-Subaid and his family, I address a warm welcome to you. It's the second last presentation of the, this year's Razan Festival. Mahmoud is one of the initiators of this, fa of this uh, program. Together with Suleiman Al-Kinai and Dari Al-Majem, they worked on this idea very hard and finally they see it alive. And we have now the privilege and honor to see his spectacular exotic horses. When you arrive here outside of the fence and then have the chance to stroll around, you see a wonderful park. Cannot be more nicely done. This uh, Mahmoud, he really has what we say in Germany, a green thumb. He knows how to take care her for his plants and of course for his facilities and horses. He's truly a horseman since his early childhood. He was riding horses, but at this time, in the beginning only with regular sport horses, he fell in love with Arabian horses when he purchased years ago, ago a book which is called the Asil Book. And there actually he found the information that also the Arabian Horse Center had an advertisement there. And then he went to the Arabian Horse Center and from there started his journey got information about Sheikh Abdulaziz, went over to Qatar. From there, he made a move to Germany. He met Dr. Nagel and they became very close friends. And not only close friends, in terms of personality, also close friends in terms of sharing the same passion and devotion, and this is towards the straight Egyptian Arabian horse. And this came so close that they are partner in some horses so you see this look of Dr. Nagel's Katharinenhof breeding program in many of the horses which uh, Mahmoud Zubayt has in his stables. Of course here and there he is going his own way and he decides to use horses which are very famous and made their own names here in Kuwait for example Ansata Hijazi put his influence also on the breeding program and the first you have just seen or is still in front of you parading around now on the lead this is NK Hana she is a daughter of NK Naphan you saw yesterday several very beautiful Naphan get at Khaled Alinezi's as well as um, Mohammed Mubaraki's farm he really is a strong producer he was on lease or in when he spent his half ownership time uh, here at the place at the facilities he did a great job he was used by several breeders with an amazing success napan just to remind you is a son of is a son of um, nk nadir out of nk nerham so he is a hatman in zahi going back via nashua to lotfia the root mayor of Dr. Nagel's Hadban family. N.K. Habiba is a daughter also from Nadir, so we have a half-sister combination. Her dam is N.K. Ranya. Ranya is K.N. Ranya. K.N. is for Katra El Nada. It was the breeding program of Wolfgang and Sylvie Eberhardt. Ranya, they had her in partnership together with the Forbes family. And Rania is out of Ansata Prima Rose, so she goes back to the famous Bukra family. A very exotic looking, beautiful mare, extremely elegant and so very refined and delicate. The next to come is lovely chestnuts. This is Zaglul El Adyat. He is by NK Aziza. Sorry, NK Nadir, and um, no, I got in the wrong line. It's by NK Nizam. You will see Nizam later. He is by Hafid Jamil out of NK Nadira. And the dam of uh, Zaglul El Adiat is Zena El Adiat by Nadir and Zubeda. And Zubeda, as I said before, Hijazi's influence is also visible here. Zubeda is by Ansata Hijazi out of. Nabawiya. Zubeda El Adyat made her move some years back to the world famous Alwab farm. 
Hijazi did a great job being mated to this lovely Zaina El, uh, to this lovely El um, Nadia daughter. And look at this young boy. Beautiful dark chestnut, liver chestnut color. Very charismatic. Overall, nicely balanced. Truly a fine young colt. Who is about to become uh, a chief sire here at El Adyat? So far, stallions like um, Nahama, like, like um, Nabhan, as well as Nizam, have moved back and forth between Kuwait and Germany. But they're also getting older and probably sooner or later will stay at their original home. So Mahmoud Zubayt is keen to keep and to go up, raise carefully his own stallion. And this young boy is truly promising. Very noble. Still not yet fully matured. His pedigree shows a very strong potential. So that's truly a fine horse. Let us keep our fingers crossed that he will continue maturing so well and that he, in the near future, becomes a leading sire here in Kuwait and the chief sire for El Adyat Arabian Stud. So this was Zaglul El Adyat. And the next to come is NK Aya. Aya is the daughter of NK Nadia, out of NK Aziza. And Aziza is by Hafid Jamil, out of Asila. Going back to famous NK Aisha, by Salahuddin. The fingerprint of NK Nadir is truly visible. It's not only the flea bitten gray color like the gorgeous NK Nadir, it is also the body structure, the amazing exotic look, the gorgeous dark big black eye, this fine elegant neck. If you think about Nadir, if you ever have seen him, this is a stallion you never forget. And NK Aya is truly an amazing daughter by this fantastic Nadir. Look at this extremely fine muzzle. This is one of the characteristics and features for which Dr. Nagel's breeding program is so well known. I hope Dr. Nagel takes the chance to watch us and follow us on live stream. Probably he sits out uh, in uh, the village of Großenkneten at his NK Katharinenhof stud with his family. In front of the screen of the monitor and watching us carefully and enjoying the presentation of horses which were either bred by him or at least descend from his breeding program and being in partnership with his dear friend Mahmoud Zubayt. And here you can see the little baby of NK Aya and she is by Ayras. It's the name. by N.K. Nabhan.
Ayras, Spectacular Beautiful, Philly. By Napan, out of NK Aya, and Aya by Nadir, NK Nadir. So it's again doubling on NK Nadir. But I guess this time we have the bay color popping up. So although both parents have three bitten sire in the in the pedigree. We have a lovely bay filly. Look at her. She's dancing around. See this chiseled head. Amazing. Mabruk Mahmoud, a masterpiece of your breeding program. Lovely. Very. Okay. I was just teached, taught that this will be a grey. Will not stay bay. I'm still not 100% sure, but uh, our big master says very clear, 100%. I'm not going to bet with him. He doesn't like to lose. If it will be bay, I'm sure he will paint it grey. Okay, if I would have bet, then I would lose. It will be great. I can see it now. It's double checked. And now having her so close in front of Shersaud and myself, you can see that she has really a very lovely eye, which is well set in the head. It's even popping out. It's in the right position. Beautiful broad forehead. Very chiseled, beautiful muzzles, typical char characteristics of the pedigree, which speaks for itself. The next in the arena is Nawara El Adiat by NK Nizam and Nizam by NK Hafid Jamil out of NK Nadira, as already mentioned. And the dam of Nawara El Adiat is NK Neamet. And she is by NK Nabhan, out of NK Nashifa. And Nashifa goes back to Bint Bint Nashwa and then finally to the... Yeah. So finally, Hadman and Zahi, Lotfia family. The Hadman is try, he's trained through Lotfia, became in the meantime the largest and probably strongest family in Dr. Nagel's breeding program. Although the world famous Obayan Omjris Meir Hanan is still having a huge influence in the breeding program, but the number of Obeyan mares, which are available in his farm, are less than the Hadbans. Still, he is valuing, of course, this family very highly and keeps the original Obeyans going to Hadba, uh, to the Hanan as treasures in his breeding program. Too many of them in the past went to either Kuwait or to Qatar, some to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Still, probably the best in his stable. Thank you so much. This was Nawara El Adiat by Nisam out of NK Neam. Beautiful, and very charismatic youngster.
And here we go with uh, the next top 10 horse of this um, presentation. It's NK Nebha. He's by NK Latif. NK Latif, probably not known to all of you. He's a son, also a son of NK Nadir out of N NK Lubna. His dam, NK Lubna, is residing at Beit al Arab, the state state of Kuwait. She is a Saglawi Jidran going back to Monyet El Nifus. And the dam of NK Nebha is NK Nakebiya. She is a daughter of Kama El Din out of Nadira. So it's again Hadban and Zahi Lutfi Alain. Very impressive in type, in exotic expression, refineness and dryness. Clean and fine legs. She's truly a big mover. See her dancing in the arena. Beautiful Kale Terridge. She loves to show. Proudly parading in front of our great audience, lovers of the straight Egyptian Arabian horse from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, from the Kingdom of Bahrain, from the United Arab Emirates, from Qatar. Europe, Egypt. Egypt, probably the most noisiest one is our friend Abu Bakr. I cannot hear him right now, but for sure he's here. I found him. He's quiet. I don't know why. What happened to you? And I said, Mahmoud al Subaid is one of the initiators of the idea of the Razan Festival and this team, organizing team, already promised they will repeat it. It's not a unique and one-time event. It is unique, but it's not one time. It will continue in the future. It's a great idea, truly. A wonderful alternative to shows where horses are judged and you have winners and losers. Here it's totally different. We enjoy the presentation of the horses at their home in a very relaxed way. Here we have a beautiful example of what NK Nebha, the dam you just saw, can do. The name is Noon El Adyat by N.K. Nabhan, out of the mare you just saw. And look at her, how she dances around. Very proud about herself. Beautifully upright in the front. Just dancing. Truly an eye catcher. The fine example 
of El Adyad's breeding program. And it looks like NK Nabhan and NK Nebha, they both did their very best to produce something special. And here we enjoy the lovely presentation of Nun El Adyad. Keep her in mind for your best of the top 10. Abruck to the proud breeder and owner. The next to come, and she will be with us in a bit, is Zara El Adyat. She's by NK Nitsam. You will see him as the last horse to be presented among the top 10 of El Adyat's program. And she's out of Zahia El Adyat. Zahia El Adyat is by Jamal El Din, out of Zubeda El Adyat, who is by Ansata Hijazi and NK Nadima. Zubeda El Adyat residing at Alwab Farm, where she produced some very nice stock. And even her dam Nadima later on also went to Alwab. But Mahmoud kept Zahia and she is doing a great job for him. Among them is Zara El Adyat, now in front of you by NK Nitsam. Enjoy her. A beautifully built, very refined filly. Gorgeous, elegant neck. Lovely eye, fine muzzle. Very clean throat. This elegant neck is often given by Zahia's sire, Jamal El Din. He was also co-owned between Dr. Nagel and Mahmoud Zubayt. Later, a third partner came in, and this was Dari al Medjem. He had him for some time at his place and used him successfully in his breeding program. In the meantime, Jamal El Din went back to Europe and is residing with Mahmoud Al Ansaruti Sham Stables. And Jamal El Din, you can say most of the time, gives most of the time gives this very elegant neck and this clean throat he stamps his produce
very fine feeling. Mabuk. And the next one is a half sister to the one you saw before. It's now Zaytuna El Adyat. She's by NK Nabhan out of Zahia El Adyat. So through the mother, she is a half sister to the one you saw before, even more than a half sister. If you look close in this pedigree, so the sire is Nabhan, whereas the sire of the one before is Nitsa. It's up to you to decide which of the two half-sisters you prefer. Enjoy seeing her parading around. She has an amazing ground-covering movement. Look at this. She knows that she is extremely beautiful is extremely proud about herself has this gorgeous look the exotic expression the stamp of the Katharinenhof and El Adiat is clearly visible in her Truly a masterpiece of Mahmoud Zubayt's breeding program. Stunning mare. I guess Mahmoud is extremely proud about her. And not only is she exotic in her look and expression, she is also very nicely balanced. Everything is in a very good harmony. We can only congratulate Mahmoud Zubayt for having bred such a fantastic mare. Mabouk. She is the second last of this presentation.
Yeah, this gentleman, you have to really look into deep in his eyes because he's one of the jury members. Maybe this was now the last kick he needs to make his decision. She will leave the arena, the last horse will come, and after we have seen the last one, which is NK Nitsam, we kindly ask you all to go over there on this green area next to the fence. The sun is over there a little bit, and we want to make a group photo. So don't run away. We need you all for this group photo. So you will be recognized, and the picture will go into the history records of El Adiat. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome the big hero of the farm. And this is NK Nitsan. A warm welcome to this bold, charismatic boy. He is by Afi Jamil out of NK Nadira, one of the uh, most important mares of Dr. Nagel's breeding program. Nadira, born 2001. She's by Adnan out of Nashua. And then Lutfiya, so he is Hatman and Zahi. He truly had made himself a name as a fantastic producer, not only here at El Adyat and Dr. Nagel's place, but many breeders here in Kuwait as well as in Europe who had the chance to use him are blessed with outstanding quality foals. He had just recently arrived Back to Kuwait, was used intensively throughout the last year by Dr. Nagel. And he again has a fantastic fall group from this last falling season by him. A very athletic, well-built stallion with the gorgeous expression, masculine attitude, ground covering movement, good bones, not too thin, but refined. Always carrying himself very much upright in the front. Because of his strong hindquarter, he is able to reach with his hind legs far under the body. He lifts himself up in the front, carries weight. And because of his well laid back shoulder, his forearms are able to reach wide forward. And with this, he has a ground covering movement. And if you look at his head, he has a gorgeous big black eye. He has this short head, a fine muzzle. Truly a star in the breeding program of Nagel's Katharinenhof, Stad and El Adiat. The two lucky owners of this marvelous stallion. Who will be here for this breeding season? Take your chance, speak to Mahmoud. He is the one to talk to while he is residing here in Kuwait. So he is the last of the top 10 of Mahmoud Zubayd's El Adiyat Stad. And I guess I speak on behalf of you when I now express sincere thanks and congratulations to Mahmoud Al Zubayd and his family for this magnificent breeding program. It was a pleasure to see these great horses. Please move over there to the green grass area. 
we still have a little bit of sun and we want to make this group photo with you don't run away we still have time for this group photo and then we head to Ajmal Arabian stud it's just only walking across the road and we reach a paradise on earth Ajmal Arabian stud <laughs> 